Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Fat Hips channel. Today, I am at none other than the place where you love that chicken, Popeyes. And today, I'm going to be trying their brand new chicken sandwich that just became available today, uh, nationwide. Um, it was at some select locations during a test run, and that is a new chicken sandwich. This is the blackened chicken sandwich um, the main difference between this and the regular chicken sandwich is that this is not breaded although when I first looked at it I thought maybe they gave me the wrong one but under closer examination you could tell there's no breading on this but it does have a really nice tan to it um, I don't know if this is a breast or a thigh I think it's a thigh because I think the regular chicken sandwiches are thighs. But you can get this a regular and spicy. I got it spicy. The difference is the mayo is the spicy mayo instead of the regular mayo. It still has pickles on it. I got like two and a half pickles. Um, I did get some sides with this because I have ordered myself the Cajun turkey from Popeyes. It's in my freezer now. And that's what I'm going to have. For my Thanksgiving dinner um, and I wanted to make some homemade sides for that seeing that I already got the turkey made um, it is pre-cooked fried and frozen you just have to reheat it in the oven it's pretty much taken care of you just got to put it in the oven uh, to cook and it'll be ready uh, it doesn't have to reach a certain temperature it only has to reach the temperature that you want to eat it at because it's already pre-cooked um, so like I said I wanted to make some homemade sides, kind of inspired by, but not necessarily copycats of um, the Popeye's sides. So I got one of um, all the sides, except for the fries, because I'm not going to do fries for Thanksgiving. I'm also going to do some sides that they no longer sell, uh, like green beans. Popeye's used to have uh, green beans you can get as a side. They do not have it anymore, but I'm going to do some research and see what it looks like what's inside of it and I'm going to try to make uh, something inspired by but not necessarily a copycat of. There's two things I want to bring your attention to though. This is the regular size for a side. According to the website when I looked up it's supposed to be six and a half ounces. The large side is supposed to be 16 ounces um, which is a pint. It kind of looks like a size of a pint. Six and a half ounces. This is the macaroni and cheese that costs over four dollars for this size. Okay, it better be full, right? This is what I got. It doesn't even have enough to cover the bottom. You can still see the bottom of it. It's about filled to right here. <clears throat> I put this on my kitchen scale it weighed four ounces with the cup. Um, I should take the cup out or pour this into something else and measure the cup by itself so I can see just how many ounces I did not get. Uh, but this is not four dollars worth of macaroni and cheese. You didn't even fill the cup. Um, Similar, the mashed potatoes, just a plop in the middle, barely any gravy on that. Coleslaw, I'm not too concerned about because who eat, you're not going to eat all of your coleslaw anyway. And then red beans and rice. All of them measured under six and a half ounces inside their own cups, so I know. They're jipping you off with the regular sides. Anyway, wait, wait, wait. Reversed anyway. I also ordered sweet tea. This color is not a sweet tea. I think it's Minute Maid lemonade. It's not even their good premium lemonade. It's the high fructose corn syrup out of the bag 
machine lemonade. Not sweet tea. Okay. Now anyway, they did give me the blackened chicken sandwich, which is almost upset when I first saw it, because it kind of looked like it was breaded, but it is not. Here's a little piece that I tore off of it, just so I can taste that blackened chicken by itself. The exterior kind of looks dry, but the interior looks moist. Let's give it a taste. That's good. It is a bit salty, but I can live with that. It's not like overly salty, but it's noticeably high in saltiness. What it, it lacks the crunch that the the fried chicken sandwiches have. There is a little, a little crisp, just on the exterior, but the interior is very juicy. And there's so much like, not only salt, but other spices on here that it really activates the salivary glands in your mouth. And like my mouth is kind of just gushing right now. Let's take go ahead. Let's go ahead and take a big bite of this one. section of it. A little squeeze. You can just see kind of juiciness just coming out of that chicken. I think I dripped on my mouse pad. And that's not the sauce. That's juice coming out of the chicken. It might be pickle juice. But the chicken is tender and moist in the middle. Mm. That's really tasty. So much flavor. The juicy chicken, that spicy sauce, those crunchy pickles. This might be better than their original fried chicken sandwich. Mm. It is missing the crunch from the breading of the original chicken sandwich but the seasoning on this and like the amount of like juicy chicken tenderness I think is at least double the original chicken sandwich mm. And you still got like a big, decently sized hunk of chicken. I love it. Their buns are nice and soft with a little bit of sweetness to them. I believe it's a potato bun. But the chicken, the seasoning, the sauce, the pickles, everything together. Two thumbs up. Highly recommend. Um, maybe avoid the sides at Popeyes. We're just with the fries. The fries are fine. Um, 
but uh, you're definitely not going to get what you pay for if you get any of these other sides. Anyway, that's it for this video. Once again, the Popeye's blackened chicken sandwich. You can get a regular spicy. I got it spicy here. But I think either way, you're going to enjoy it. It's very tasty. Highly recommend you go to Popeye's right now and try the blackened chicken sandwich. And I also highly recommend that you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And maybe someday enough of you will watch and subscribe that I can just stop saying that altogether. Anyway, see you on the next one, whenever that may be. And I love you all very much.